Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, 2019, and the time is approximately 7.33 p.m. Eastern Time. 7 plus 3 plus 3 equals 13, as in the number 13, blessed be the power of the witch. I would like to welcome you to the official Many Moons 2019 Lunar Planner video for September 2019. I love the fact that there is going to be a Many Moons 2020 Lunar Planner. Um, I do not remember the exact phrasing of her name, but I believe it's Sarah Ann Gottes. And Sarah Ann, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for creating a 2020 Lunar Planner because that makes my life so much easier. It makes my mind so much calmer, and I don't need to go looking for a new metaphysically, magically, mystically oriented uh, calendar planner for the next calendar year. I'm going to have a sip of some water. You know, a lot of people have this um, misconception that one is supposed to drink more water during the, the warm months, but you know what? The body needs to be hydrated all the time. And um, I have not been drinking enough water, and um, and it's been showing. I've noticed the last few months that uh, certain things affect me more deeply than others. Uh, when I don't drink enough water, it really does affect my body, and it affects my emotions too. Now I'm not dehydrated. I know I look skinny, because I am skinny, or, but um, not dehydrated. Anyway, so um, this month there is a tarot or oracle card. There is a tarot or oracle card pull. I can say this correctly, right? So for September 2019, or rather for the September 2019 entry of the Many Moons 2019 Lunar Planner, there is a tarot or oracle card pull for the month. This is not a tongue twister, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and for some reason I was getting... See what I mean? Drinking more water is going to help this. So, pull one card or a series of cards for this month. Suggested spread. One, what must end, or rather first card. Second card, what must begin. Third card, what must remain. So I'm going to use one of my personal favorite tarot decks, which is the Morgan Greer Tarot. And it's so funny because I recently unearthed this tarot deck. By the way, I have a client who is also a dear friend and is also my current private magic student. And she actually, it's funny because recently she said to me, I have some goodies for you that I think would qualify for payment payment, in exchange for this class and the next class. Boy, was she right. So it's actually something that I had on my Amazon wish list. It's a set of four velvet uh, tarot bags. This is the navy blue. There's a royal purple. There's a wine burgundy red. And there's a forest green. And I'm hoping the sacred fae did not take my forest green. But you know what the fae. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shuffle the deck and cast the cards. My awesome audiovisual person is using the computer table that I often use for laying out cards. And he needs to do it, and I'm totally okay with it. So, oh, ooh, cards fell out. I'm only going to acknowledge the top two. Uh, I stand corrected. I'm going to acknowledge the top three, and I'm going to actually show them to you. So let's say for the sake of argument that these are the cards that came out. I am going to do this again, but we're going to see what happens. So what must end? King of Pentacles. Desperation. Now there's Queen of Pentacles. I know what a King and Queen are like. I know some of you are like, are you sure, Robert? Hey, girl, you know what the difference between the king and the queen is? You sure, baby? 
Yes, I'm sure. Thank you so much. My awesome audiovisual person is trying not to laugh out loud. I know I made it very difficult for him. I'm so sorry. Let's try this again. And yes, I do know what the difference is between a king and a queen. And between a goddess and a mortal, too. Okay. What must end? Queen of Pentacles. The lack of faith in one's one and true and real source of divine financial supply. What must begin? Excellent, outstanding confidence and strength and faith in one's talents and abilities to manifest money and prosper professionally and personally. And what must remain? The desire for acquiring and increasing one's knowledge and wisdom. Okay, this is what I would call the reading before the reading. Now I'm going to shuffle the deck again. And as I do so, I call upon the powers of the goddesses. I call upon the powers of the gods. I call upon the powers of the archangels. I call upon the powers of the ascended masters. I call upon the powers of the angels. I call upon the powers of the saints. I call upon the powers of the sacred fae. I call upon the powers of the elementals. I call upon the powers of my ancestors. And I call upon the powers of the universe. And I also call upon Isis Fortuna, goddess of the sacred tarot. May the casting of these cards resonate. May they bring clarity and illumination, love and life, prosperity and peace, honor and wholeness, wellness and healing, wealth and opulence. May they bring every great and glorious blessing. May it bring loving, luscious, and lavish, loving, lavish, and luscious surprises of all kinds. And may they bring joy, riches, and success. I've cut the deck into three cards. I'm going to pull the bottommost card from each pile. Set the other cards aside. Okay. So, for the record, no, none of the cards that fell out are the cards that are here. What must end? The blank card of the unknowable card. What must end, you already know. Or said another way, is up to you. What must begin? Moving forward, literally. Are you allowing yourself to remain stuck literally and physically where you are? Are you unwilling to travel? Are you unwilling to commute? Are you unwilling to move from where you live now? And because I know how imperative it is that people have their own home, I'm going to ask you to ask yourself, are you in a position well, you are ready to move. Like, could you move today if you could, if you needed to? If you can, if you know that you have everything you need in the mundane and in the metaphysical to move from your current residence to your next one, or to go from your current position of employment to your next one, then I'm going to say this is the time to take action. And what must remain? Your faith in the divine. This is the card that traditionally depicts Archangel Michael, who is the divine protector of the Archangels. And notice, like in many Rider Waite Smith themed tarot decks, he has one foot in water and one foot on land. So it's about balancing the practical and the emotional, the physical and the emotional, the physical and the metaphysical, balancing the opposites, the yin and the yang or whether the yin, I'm, not, I'm mispronouncing it correctly, balancing your inner Tao, 
your inner Tao. Tao is correct pronunciation. Balancing your inner Tao, your inner yin and yang. And the final message card is the tower. There's an expression that I read in a book several years ago, and I love the expression to the point that I never goddessized it. When God wants our attention, he tickles us with a feather. If we don't listen, he hits us with a brick. The tower card for me is God saying, okay, well, this bitch is not paying attention again. So I'm going to take a wheelbarrow, fill it up with cinder blocks. Now, God is not going to say, look out below! No, God is not going to do that. God is like, this bitch is not paying attention again. Tickle this bitch with a feather. Hit this bitch with a brick. Okay. Now this bitch is going to pay attention. I ask you this, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Why? I'm going to tell you something. In August of 2012, I had a stroke. I have since fully recovered from that stroke. I fully recovered in the way that nobody expected me to recover, actually. But between the fact that I had a stroke, and I've had some hospitalizations in the last few years, and being male, especially being male-born man, man-born male, my threshold for pain is lower than it is for a woman's. Because think about it. How many women do you know that have had more than one child? You don't think women have a higher threshold for pain? Never mind the women that have three or more kids. You know that if I could get pregnant, I'd be like, get me that epidural stat. Seriously. So I'm telling you right now, I have no desire to have children. I have no desire to become pregnant. And my threshold for pain is very low. God, or as I call her the great goddess, is never going to need to get to gather a, a wheelbarrow and fill it up with cinder blocks. Because if that goddess throws those cinder blocks on top of me, they're going to hurt like hell. So I say this to you. Given that the final message card is the tower, what messages from the divine have you been ignoring? What messages have the divine been giving the people that you love and adore and trust beyond everything and anything else you know that you continually pretend you're not hearing? I'm going to say this. You need to stop ignoring those messages. Otherwise, God is not going to have a problem dumping a whole mess of cinder blocks on top of you from a wheelbarrow from something as high as the Empire State Building or Le Tour Eiffel or whatever major landmark that's more than a thousand feet high. But whatever it is, you can't ignore it anymore. Whatever that message is, make no mistake, you cannot afford to ignore it anymore. And I think that the worst thing you can do at this point is to continue ignoring it. Now, some of you may not take this seriously because it's a free reading. And you know what? I don't have an issue with that. You know, I mean, the fact of the matter is that I don't receive a lot of comments on these videos. So maybe they're not resonating for as many of you as, as one would think they are, as I would th like them to be. And that's okay, because you know what? I've, I've perpetually, I've, on, I've often ignored the advice that my personal psychic advisor, Roger Pratt, has given me. And I've given out free readings. And you know what? It never serves me well. It never does. But I did want to do this spread. I did want to pull these cards. If they made a difference for you, please let me know in the comments. If they didn't make a difference in you, please let me know in the comments. But I am especially happy that there is a Many Moons 2019 Lunar Planner. And I am especially happier that there is already in the works a Many Moons 2020 Lunar Planner. With that being said, YouTube, thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the shares. Thank you so much for those of you who have already availed yourselves of my psychic services. And thank you for those of you who are on the verge of doing so. Uh, please keep in mind that September through December is the busiest time of the year for me. 
Um, I am already massively booked up the first two weeks of October, which I didn't even realize until I looked at my calendar planner for October. I was like, oh damn, I'm booked up. For me to take on something else uh, the second week of October would be tricky. The first week and maybe the third, I can handle. The fourth week from Sunday, no, from Monday, October 21st through Wednesday, October 24th. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I didn't do that correctly, but you know what I mean. Uh, I could probably handle, but the first full week of October, which would be the week of Sunday, October 6th, 2019, or rather, set, or rather Monday, October 7th, 2019, would be really... Actually, no, I'm talking about the third week. I do have more availability the second week, which is the first full week of October. But that being said, this is definitely the time to book your appointment now. This is definitely the time to schedule your reading now, to avail yourself of the psychic services that I offer. Uh, to inquire about my psychic services. Um, this year, strangely enough, I've been so busy and I've had so many different endeavors and projects that there are some emails that I actually forgot to reply to in a timely manner. So um, if you don't hear from me, you might want to send me another email. If more than a week has gone by and you know that I'm alive, send me another email because it means that I didn't receive it or I didn't see that I received it. And um, much to my discomfort, my number of subscribers has decreased yet again. I don't know why that happens, but at some point I will exceed 500 subscribers, and whoever that 500th subscriber is, is going to receive that giveaway. But that's pretty much it for now, YouTube. Thank you again for everything, and may the great goddess and her beloved angels bless you and yours with joy riches, success, and peace, and good night.